back. Boeing shares are higher today. You see right there, a little less than 2%. That after news that CEO David Calhoun announced he's stepping down at the end of the year. Uh, so you bought the stock on Friday? As a final trade. Um, we, we're just trying to <laughs> just catch, capture something, and are you still in it? I am, uh, only because I have to be, because CNBC rules, but I'll be getting out of it. Look, it was apparent to me that going on the road show, the board, without Calhoun, meant that he was out, and that the customers who publicly supported him said enough's enough. Let's make the change. You need some more. You need some more. Well, you look like you're <coughs> struggling. Do, I'm going to pass it to Jimmy for a minute. Let you. Uh... I'm actually good now. Oh, you're good. Okay, I'm good. go ahead. So the problem here is they need a new CEO and they need a new board. Some of the board members aren't standing for re-election. But at the end of the day, it's not like a normal company you could turn around. It's got an extensive manufacturing problem and a culture that's got to be reversed. And you've got to look to the outside. Historically, they've looked from the inside. So first, you have to identify somebody. No question in my mind they'll get somebody. But I think it's a very long workout. Now, what's better here... you got than a duopoly. That's the... That's exactly. The, I was just going to get to that. That's the default line that... Everybody always comes back right. to against the negativity on a Boeing. Right. Yeah, but it's a duopoly. What are you going to wait? And, and when that, when and, do you want your plane? And I was going to say that not only is it a duopoly, you've got their competitor, Airbus, that can't fill the orders they have. They've got a multi year backlog. So that makes it okay. But in the interim, what are the concessions they're going to have to give to the airlines? Look at United Airlines. You've got heightened investigation because wheels are coming off, other safety issues. The FAA wants to know whether it's United or whether it's Boeing that's doing that. So the bottom line is it's going to be such a long workout. We're going to be in the same place six months, a year, year and a half from now because production is so below what it should be. So that means the balance sheet's still constrained, in my view. Mm -hmm. So it's a good trade, and it was a trade on new management, which I've been calling for for years, but I just don't think it's going to be a great stock. Now, your guy while. over to your left was shaking his head, which is so interesting because here is somebody who defended Boeing forever, even amid his you know, anger uh, over some of the other issues that have happened in the past handful of years, then finally got fed up and sold the stock. So what's your take now? Yeah, the CEO is not the story here. This is not a one-man show. It's not the board of directors. That's not that's not how you fix this company. No, this but the company buck, is going to take the buck stops at the top. So what? I mean, I don't. I, let's not let's not get stuck on that. I want to make the point I'm making. This is not like somebody comes in and it's it's some DNA splice of Jack Welch and Warren Buffett and Bill Gates. That doesn't fix this. Okay, this is a culture that's 25 years in the making. This goes back to McDonnell Douglas acquisition back in the late 1990s. And what you've got here as a situation is to turn this around. Profits have to get plummeted here. Uh, this you can we can talk and I have in the past about the duopoly. That's still true, and that's a reason why the company needs to survive. But right now the FAA is going to slow walk everything on Boeing. They're going to slow walk production increases. They're going to slow walk new plane services. So you wouldn't buy the stock like Weiss did? Absolutely not. Absolutely I'm, not. I'm a sell. I'd be a seller. I know. He's I mean, a he's seller. clearly, he's, he's making he a clear. He's playing it for a in. trade. I totally yeah. get it. Yeah. Why, why is, not why is everyone here? acting like it's such a great performance? Say, stock's up 1%. It's I don't. 1% I, on this. I, it's well, because it has the overhanging issues. Like let me, I mean, I'm going to lay out more problems. Annualized now. Supposedly, supposedly the <laughs> solution here, at least in part, is that Boeing buys Spirit Aerospace Systems. Um, okay, so they're going to pay up for that, and then pretty much immediately, and they've kind of hinted at this, they're going to have to divest the Airbus business. You think Airbus wants Boeing building their planes for them? I'll let that hang for a second. They're going to, they're going to divest that business, so immediately the, the uh, value of that acquisition is going to go down. you got the airlines. The airlines are not happy. The airlines are not there. Their friends right now. You just pointed this out. I mean, I could go on and on. Oh, by the way, I, the, I don't the know union, if the spirit the acquisition goes new, through. By the way, the union wants a new deal as well. I, I mean, we're piling on here. This so, is not a. This is not an. This is not a stock to buy right now. 